Hey, Lip Rivers, Mo, Iron Shop. Got some questions already on the Phoenix boat cover and how easy it is to put that thing on. So I'm gonna do a couple of minute video to kind of walk y'all through it step by step. It's really pretty easy. You just gotta put the foundation together and then put the boat cover on top and strap it down. Uh, so I'm gonna go through that step by step here. Y'all stay tuned. All right, so seeing how I, my boat's a single console, to get the boat cover on here, Phoenix gives you a three-pole system to do such. One pole for the front, a single pole to act as a second console, and then a third pole to strap the back. How's this work? Well, it looks like a bunch of straps and some poles and a tangled mess, but let me just tell you real simple and easy. All you gotta know is black and white. White straps and white pole, not to be racist or anything, but uh, that's just how they did it. Goes up front, stands up, goes up front. Black straps, taller pole. This bottom piece goes right here where the net storage is. You stick it right on the net logo and then the rear straps go to the back. So let me show you how quick and simple this is uh, by doing such. I'm gonna leave this pole here just dangling just for a minute. Again, white straps, shorter pole. You want one strap going to the left, one strap going to the right, black strap in the middle. I always try to keep things kind of flat. I don't like things twisted, that's just me, manual that way. Uh, but that's, that's all it is. And then you take the loops that they give you, run them through your rod, uh, your uh, locks there, to tie up your dock locks, and pretty simple. All right, so we got the straps in and the poles in. So let's take a quick look here, show you this. Rod buckle, not a rod buckle. Tie down cleat. <laughs> Sorry, I promise I ain't been drinking. Goes up to short pole. Another one goes over there. Pretty simple, right? Then they give you a strap to go across the top here to your taller pole in the tent, which goes down to where the net storage is at. And then you got two more straps that come back here to the back. Plastic little buckle. You run it through that handle. Run the other one through this handle. And now you have what I call your foundation to run your net. Uh, not your net, your boat cover. Again, I promise I am in the rain. And then this will go right about here for the actual boat cover. And uh, they actually put a little, for lack of better words, a nipple inside the boat cover for this to go into solidly. And it'll sit, stand just like that. And then all that. If you had it outside, water would run off of it, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm fixing to roll the boat cover on here and uh, show you what that kind of looks like. And then uh, you'll be done out here doing this by myself. Get it done in less than 10 minutes and, uh, you know, keeps the bird crap off your boat, et cetera, et cetera. So I always have my boat cover on uh, when I need it. Also, for whatever reason, uh, can't explain, but people were interested in my my little makeup bag uh yes it do have a pretty flower on there it says daisies not sure if you can see that uh, again not sponsored by the makeup bag not like sponsored by daisies but uh, the reason why i do that again it's full of sunblock both the spray and the stick kind right i can simply open it up hard to do this one-handed i got spray i got the stick I got the lotion. Uh, so any kind of sunblock that anybody may want, it's right there. And in this hot Texas sun, it gets a little warm, the sticks can melt. So I uh, leave it in a makeup bag and it doesn't leak inside my storage compartment over there. So that's why I do that. $3 off the Amazon, hell, it costs more to ship it to me than it did to buy a doggone thing, but uh, simple solution. Next comes the uh, boat cover. All right. So I got the cover up here on the front deck. It's real simple. 
front of it. It goes across the trolling motor and your graphs. Trolling motor prop, reinforced. Can't miss it. Can't mess that up. It's real simple. Just cover that over your trolling motor. They even give you a little sleeve if you wish to use it. Put over your trolling motor prop to help to keep the propeller from cutting over into your cover. Now, I, ain't, I don't use it, but it's there in case you need it. Other words, being you know out here doing this by yourself, this is the most time consuming part of it, is I roll mine and always have rolled it. But I always like to be a little tender with it, uh, just for simple fact of, but this strap system with the poles really does work. And it is very, very easy to use. Now, I'm gonna take the camera over here and show you what I call the nipple in this boat cover for the third pole to go into so you can kind of see it. And then I'll finish putting it together. But right here, you can see right there, that, that pole goes under that, it stands up just like this. Simple and easy to do. And uh, we're gonna show you how the rest of it gets done. So we're gonna finish rolling this out. First, the only thing that I would caution you on is, uh, number one, there's metal buckles right here on each side. So don't be overly aggressive uh, when rolling this thing out. Just gotta be mindful of that and everything else is just fine. Next thing you wanna do is make sure that you have a cover down below the rub rail all the way around the boat. So just do a quick walk. Make sure your trolling motor is in here just like it's built to do. But there's the head, etc. etc. Make sure that your boat cover is over the rub rails all the way across. And you can call that done from that point of view. The next thing I like to do is I like to come over here to the driver's side and clip the buckle down there and prep it. Unzip the ratcheting strap from this side. Sink it down by hand just a little bit. And this is just a normal tie down strap. Get about five or six rips on it and then come back over here to where my single console is at, okay? And right here is the reinforced patch that I was telling you about. Stick, stick the pole in the nipple. Again, there's probably a better scientific word for it. I couldn't tell you what it is. If uh, that offends you, then you shouldn't be fishing. Uh, so again, it's going in right there. It's stout, holds everything up. Then I come over here, unzip stuff right here in this little pouch. So turn that so you can see it. They give you a nice handy dandy pouch for this to go into. And then put your metal buckle down here. Run it through the loop. Manually tighten your latch first. Pull slack out of it that you can. And just begin winching. And this winches the entire cover. And then any logic would demonstrate, do this on both sides equally at the same time. If not, you're gonna lose credibility for any kind of intelligent life. Zip that back up. Walk back over here. Get one more, two more pulls on it, just to make sure you're tight. 
to your satisfaction. And there you have it. Now, your boat, your bird, is beautifully covered with a boat cover that is towable. Water will not sit there because it'll roll off, thanks to gravity. And uh, the entire boat's covered and well protected from varmints, critters, bird poop, you name it. Uh, that's the reason why we do it. Keep our investment protected. To give you a quick picture, here's where that goes into. The metal buckle goes right here. And then obviously there's another one right here on the other side and you're good to go. You can see everything is wrapped and secure. Another thing to note, if you really want to do it, there's some buttons right here where your battery tray and stuff is at. This cover actually has four buttons that you can snap down here. That was probably terrible, my bad. Uh, to even give it a little bit more added protection of, from the critters. So if you wish to invoke all four snaps, you can do that and uh, you're good to go. But as you can see, the Phoenix boat cover fits this boat like a charm. It is a drivable, protective cover. It does not flap as you can't even get your finger underneath there, right? Uh, under the rub rail. It is very tight. I do not see this cover here giving you any kind of problems in regards to using it on a daily basis, driving with it, uh, boat storage or anything else. It has strong materials, reinforced where it counts and uh, protects the boat, protects the investment. And last but not least, as a note, it is vented right there. So that will keep it from getting uh, all kinds of moldy and stuff uh, if for whatever strange reason you're not using your boat for any uh, significant amount of time uh, and you strap it in that way. So uh, just kind of be mindful of that. But in other words, that's how quick and easy it is to put the Phoenix boat cover on, build the foundation with straps, using your deck locks up front, plastic clips in the back, poles, pole, third pole if you don't have a, center con uh, a second console, and then uh, you're done, boat's covered. Roll your cover on there, strap it down, ratchet, 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 simple. Hope this helps you out. If you have any questions about how the Phoenix boat cover works, durability, or just setting it up, hit me up in the comment section and let me know. In other words, y'all be safe, rip some lip.